Hey guys, welcome to Mars Toys, and here I have the Animators Collection. It's such a great collection. I mean, it's all the animator dolls um, that they've ever made, uh, except for I mean, now there's uh, Lilo and there's also Aladdin that's not included in here, but every other doll is here in miniature style, which is great. So I always like these animator dolls, but the other ones are so big, I don't have space for them. So I'm glad that they started releasing the little tiny ones, which I'm super excited. I had gotten the ones with the sets and the really cool cases and all the accessories, but of course I was missing a few of them, like Sleeping Beauty and Pocahontas, Mulan, uh, Tiana. So that's why I decided to get this, just so I could get all the different little ones that haven't been released separately. Separately. Hopefully they will release them separately just because I do love what they come with um, separately So I, I love all the little accessories, but uh, yeah So I'm gonna open them up and pick out the ones that I don't have the other ones are gonna go away My sister's also a collector. So I'm gonna give my sister all the other ones that uh, That I already have so here are the ones that I don't need. Um, it's Cinderella, Belle Jasmine, Ariel, Anna, Elsa, Rapunzel, Snow White, and Tinkerbell. I already have these on the sets with all the little um, accessories and stuff like that, so I'm gonna give this away to my sister. And the ones that I needed, Kristoff. So he is super cute. He was the first boy that they did, so I really like the way um, they did him. Um, very simple, you could actually take his shoes off, and these little figures have articulation on the knees, and that's about it. You can move their hands up and down, but like I said, it's ju they're just like the animators, just miniature style. I believe it's the same sculpt and everything, but they're super cute. Um, I also have Mulan, and I knew like Mulan and Pocahontas and Tiana probably wouldn't gonna, were not gonna be released anytime soon, so that's why I got this particular set. So she comes with two little uh, braids on the side, um, it, it, she's super, super cute. Pocahontas. Pocahontas is adorable. She's one of the reasons why I always liked the the uh, animators was because of Pocahontas. I always thought Pocahontas was extremely, extremely cute, and this little this little uh, gal is no exception right here. So I, I really like this Pocahontas. Um, there's Merida, and out of all of them, I think Merida has the most expressive face. But she is extremely expressive and her hair is everywhere. It's super hard. Uh, but look at all the box here in the back. <laughs> they make sure that they look perfect uh, facing forward, but the back is always really, really bad. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the hair just because I, obviously if I brush this out, it's gonna be all over and and I do kind of like the, the, the curls, but maybe I could just unglue them a little bit and and do something with it, but she she's extremely cute. Her face is just adorable as well. Tiana, here's Tiana. Actually, in the in the movie Tiana, we get to see her uh, around this age, so they didn't need to to, to imagine her that much. Um, very very cute. She comes with her little uh, pigtails right here and her little uh, rolls and stuff. But she's really 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 cute. So that's Tiana. And finally, the that I what another one that I needed was Sleeping Beauty um, or Aurora. Uh, she is Briar Rose, whatever you want to call her. She's really 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 cute. Uh, her cheeks are just so adorable. Um, so I, I definitely love her. So like I said, I, I got this set. Um, just because they haven't released these ones separately. Um, hopefully they'll do a miniature Lilo and a miniature Aladdin. I would love that, um, but I'm not, I don't think we're gonna see them anytime soon. Out of all these, oh my God, it's so hard. Uh, I would say the cutest one has to be Aurora. It's gonna be between Aurora. I don't know, they're all pretty cute um, in their own ways, but if I would only pick one, I, I think I would go with her just because her cheeks are just so big and adorable. So I think I'm gonna go with her. I think she's my favorite one. Um, uh, followed by Tiana, I think that's another one that's pretty expressive. Uh, but they're all really, really, really adorable and I'm glad that we have them in this size. So if you like my video, please subscribe, like, and um, comment, tell me you know, what you think and uh, what you're hoping for in this particular animator series. Till then, um, thank you, thanks for watching.